Tampa. Let me see your driver's license. There seems to be the problem. I'm just stopping everybody. It's a big jewelry heist in town today. Oh, is something wrong? Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. It says here on your license you're supposed to be wearing glasses. Oh, yeah, I got my contacts in. Hold it, Eddie. Don't let him go yet. There's something back here. It is the year 2020, and the world has changed. In 2020, times are tough. This man's tougher. Mr. H, if you're bored, why don't you try monitoring something different? Some Euro TV. Inadequate. Passive. It's still not interactive, don't you see? Not that I don't appreciate your company, FX. It's just so... constant. Oh. Well, what can I do, Mr. H? I mean, that's the price you pay for being... who you are. <laughs> Zack Man! Everything go okay? Well, I got the bad guys anyway. From your toe. And further is a problem. Yeah, well, the cycle needs a little work. Oh, no, you biffed it. Sort of. Bad? Totally. Zach, it's not insured. You're looking at Mr. Fix-It. But there's something else. Oh, I can hardly wait. Play this back, Evie. I found these strange circular impressions in a field off Turkey Lake Road. Wait a minute. Type 4 radiation? There's no such thing. Correction. Obviously, there is such a thing. We witnessed it. And it was emanating from those impressions. 
And what do you guys think? Perfectly symmetrical, nine inches deep, in hard pack, adobe type soil. It obviously had to be something large and dense, something that would also emanate radiation. Yeah, like a spaceship. Precisely. I was joking. Yeah, but he's not. <laughs> Analyze it. Type 4 radiation is not known on this planet. So? A meteor hit the ground. But... But it's perfect and symmetrical. It could be evidence of intelligent life set down on Earth from... somewhere beyond. <laughs> can't believe you guys. Mr. H, you're just bored. Zack, I'm surprised at you. It's got to be a hoax. Okay, who would even go to the trouble or be able to pull off a stunt like this? And for what purpose? I've heard no publicity about this finding. What good is a hoax without a hoaxy? Maybe we are the hoaxies. There's a call coming in at your house. Shall I transfer it here? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Hello. Hi, Captain. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sorry I'm late, but I had a little trouble with my transportation. I'll, I'll be right in. What's that? Okay, I'll get over there right away. What? Two students just disappeared from the high school at Turkey Lake Road. Are you sure your friends didn't just elope or run away or something? Like, I'm her best friend. I'm sure she would have told me. Besides, she didn't like Bud that much anyway. Really? Why is that? Because Bud is, like, only the second string quarterback. Ouch. They walked right down there and took that path that goes to the lake. And that was, like, the last time anyone saw them. All right. I'll check it out. Look, here's my car. If you think of something else or hear anything, call me immediately, OK? How do I get in touch with you? Car. My number's on the car. Uh... Wait a minute! There's something I forgot. Like about 20? 25. Maybe 30. But more like 25. 25 minutes after they walked down the path, there was a strange glow in the sky over those woods. A glow? Yeah! But I don't think it had anything to do with Bud and Holly's disappearance, because like I said, it was 20, 25 minutes later. Did you see this glow too? Thanks a lot. What is it, Evie? I don't know, but whatever it is, we can market it as the greatest perfume ever. Smells good. I believe the substance on the pom-pom is the same substance responsible for the type 4 radiation you encountered in those impressions, Zack. It's radioactive? It can't hurt you. This substance contains omega particles. Omega particles? Never heard of that before, Mr. H. That's a type of radiation heretofore only theorized to exist. Well, where did it come from? Somewhere out there, perhaps. Oh, no, not this again. Those girls did say something about a glow in the sky. Next, you'll be telling me about little green men. <laughs> ah. That perfume of yours is driving me crazy. I'm not wearing any perfume. Well, then what's that smell? It's not me. Well, it smells great, whatever it is. <laughs> Maybe there's something blooming up at the putt-putt. Anyway, I've got to go freshen up. Gina, come with me. You're right, man. Something smells boss. It makes me think of mating season. Woo! Makes me want to spawn. <laughs> <laughs> Do they look acceptable to you? Yes, they appear to have good muscular development. They will do nicely. I concur. <laughs> All right! Hey, listen. We're with our girlfriends right now, but if you give us your phone numbers, we can call you when we get rid of them. That is not necessary. You will come with us now. Hey! Get your hands off him! What do you think you're doing? 
<laughs> Don't come near me. I've never hit a woman before, but I will if I have to. <laughs> We leave them alone for five minutes. Oh, I think they're in some kind of trouble. Slow down, okay? Hold it. Where were you guys since last night? We ran away. There were two blonde women and Mike was fighting with them. They were like really strong. And then they sprayed this stuff in their face. Yeah, like this green stuff. And then they took them away or something. What do you mean, took them away? This girl like drew this door and pushed them through it. Drew a door? Yeah, like with her finger out of green light. And then they all went through it and the door just disappeared. <laughs> and where did all this take place? Right here by the end of the car. Our, uh... <laughs> sure about all this? Like I've never been so sure about anything in my whole life. I wish I had told Mike how I felt about him. Why? Did you love him? Well, no. But if I had known what was going to happen, maybe I would have. Let's cover this up and get it downtown. <laughs> Mr. H, I had Harris down in spectroscopy running his own analysis on the green goo. Doubt my analysis. I'm incensed. Calm down, Mr. H. It was just a second opinion. Harris said there was no such thing as an omega particle. He did, did he? He said it was probably typical alpha radiation that had been subjected to. Stop. Harris was a student of mine. He was always prejudiced against imaginative conclusions. He thinks too much like a computer. A computer? An ordinary computer. The universe is unbounded. There are an infinite number of galaxies, an infinite number of planets. It is a statistical certainty that there is life elsewhere in the universe. And whether by accident or design, one such life form has come to our world and brought with it the Omega Particle. This really excites you, huh, Mr. H? The Omega Particle could unlock for us the secrets of the universe. If it is an Omega Particle, not that I don't believe you. If I could, I would be out at that lake where Zack found those impressions in an instant. Whatever the source of those Omega particles, extraterrestrials or not, it will totally turn the world of science upside down. <sighs> if only I had a body. Is that a hint? Mr. H, I found it. Guess what? There's another set of prints. That could be significant. I guess now comes the fun part. A little hard work never hurt anyone. I only wish I could be there digging in the dirt with you. <laughs> it smells good out here? Yes, I remember the sweet smell of the loam, sunlit and moist beneath the bruised sky. Oh. It's that green stuff, and it's getting stronger. What is your assessment of this one? Oh. He is also well-muscled, and a farmer. A farmer. An excellent addition to the menagerie. Uh, uh, I, I don't know who you think I am, but I'm not a farmer. Unfortunate. But still, an excellent example of a mesomorphic endotype. You will come with us now. FX. FX. Is there someone there with you? You wouldn't believe it if I told you. I mean, there's two women, two beautiful women, two suspiciously beautiful women out here in the middle of nowhere with me. Mind if I ask you where you're from? Up there. See ya! Ha, 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 ha.
I feel... <laughs> FX! Strange. FX! Are you all right? What's happening? <laughs> EB, I've got some incredible new evidence. Zack, I've done a horrible thing. FX is gone. Gone? What do you mean? I sent him out to take soil samples of those impressions you discovered, and I'm afraid he's been abducted by two women. Same thing happened last night to two more high school students. There were witnesses. They said that these two unnaturally strong women dragged these two guys off through a doorway of light. E.B., what if you're right? What if these are extraterrestrials? This is all my fault. For my own selfish reasons, I put FX in danger. I've got to get out there. worry. You will be cared for and provided a habitat similar to the one from which you are being removed. Habitat? Provided for? Sounds like you're gonna put us in a zoo. We are. Wait a minute! Our quota has now been satisfied. We may prepare to leave this planet. It will be a relief to return to our own bodies. These are so ugly. and soft. I found his equipment, but there's no sign of FX. Are there any footprints? I'm going to investigate.
Come in, come in. Are you and FX all right? I lost your signal for a moment. Yeah, we're okay. So are the others. Did you see them? Were there aliens? Was I right? You were right, E.B. And I have the proof you were looking for.